you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what to expect and what you need to be doing before Mutt Heroes promo. So, I did this video a few days ago in a different aspect, though. I told you guys pretty much have to prep the week prior. But that was before Weekend League happened. So I could imagine that maybe like 60% of you guys probably had a Weekend League team and disregarded the advice. Even myself, right? Like I bought, I purchased my Weekend League team as you guys see here. Not not the entire thing, but I picked, I made a few pickups. I picked up Shannon Sharp. I picked up Willie Brown. I picked up Kevin Maway. I picked up a few guys that cost quite a bit of coins. So now I imagine Weekend League, it's Sunday. So by the time you guys see this, you're probably almost on Weekend League. So a lot of you guys at this point are probably going on to the next phase. Like... Do I just start converting my team to prep for Mutt Heroes? Do I keep it? In my opinion, the train might have left already on the set your team for most people if you're this late. Because if we come over to the block, you'll see pretty clearly that if you had waited this long, it's probably too late. So for me, I bought them cheap, so I don't mind selling them back cheap. But a lot of you guys probably bought these cards expensive. Like a lot of people probably bought Jerry Rice for like 250, 260, if you've had him for this long, and so on and so forth. Now for me, I bought Kevin Maguire at like 245, 250, so I don't mind selling him back at 250. I lose a little bit. I bought Shannon Sharp at 270, so I mean, I might lose a little bit there. And then Willie Brown, I purchased at about 245, so as long as I could sell him for, I don't know where he is, but probably like 260, 270. So I'll get my, as long as I can get my coins back, because they helped me do better in Weekend League this weekend, so it gets me some coins back. So I know a lot of you guys probably did that. So if you bought the cards cheap and you had them just Weekend League, maybe now might be the time to sell them. But remember, my personal advice is that the market is what it is now. I was talking to Xerxes about this. We came up with this theory that we've realized in the last few years of Madden, people always expect the market to crash when the promo drops, but in reality, it drops right before the promo drops because people anticipate and sell because people think that everything's gonna die so everyone sells right away. And then instead of it dying when the promo drops, it dies the week before. And then when the promo drops, everyone's like, whoa, I thought the market would come down more, but you never realized that it already did drop. And I've realized this before I was a YouTuber and a content creator. In the last two or three years playing Madden, with so many YouTubers like Xerxes, CC, Skomo, and all these guys, you guys get the point. Not to name everyone, but they've been doing content, so they always give people tips on what to do beforehand, market advice like Gut Fox. All these guys have given you guys tips for the last few years, so it preps literally most of the community to be ready for a promo. So that is why we've been seeing pre-promo crashes. Now, before I go into the rest of this, guys, let me give you guys my little intro. So, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Good boys, you guys have been killing it. We're about 8,500 subscribers. We're growing really fast. Hopefully, we can hit 9K in about two weeks or so. And then from there, go on to 10K, guys. That'll be a big milestone. So make sure to smash that sub button. Turn on that noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think I'm going to miss in this video. I always love feedback. And drop a like in this video. If you get this video to 200 likes, you guys have been smashing the like button. Now back to what I was saying about the crash. So, in theory... If you guys have been playing since Madden 13, you guys do understand that back in Madden 13 and Madden 14, Madden 25, like those that time, things didn't die to the market when the market crashed. Like a few days before the Halloween promo, market was cool. Halloween cards drop. The second those packs open, market crashes bad. So everyone's like, okay, just be ready like the day or two before the promo. Now with the way we have all these content creators like myself, and like I said, Xerxes, CC, and all these guys posting all this content, tips, and tricks. The, literally two weeks prior, a week prior, the market's already dead. Everyone's already ready. Like, they're ready to sell their team. That's why I recommended two weeks ago that you guys sell your team. Because I anticipated that people would anticipate to sell. So, like I said, the market is crashing right about now. So, what you can expect and what my, 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 my tips for you guys are, right? If you bought the cards at their cheapest, like I did. Like, you bought them with the market crashed. Feel free to sell them back. Because, in my opinion, nothing is worse than going into a new promo without coins. It's, it's, it's horrific. Like, it sucks, right? Halloween promo comes out, all these cool cards, and you got no coins. All your cards are losing value. You can't even get back 75% of what you spent for them. It sucks. I know the feeling. So, for me, at least I have a lot of coins to go into it with. Now, for many people, you might have this kind of coin stack. So, I I mean, me still, I still want more coins. So, like, Shannon Sharp again goes to, like, 256. Hopefully, I can get back around, like, 265 for him. Again, I wouldn't sell today. In my personal opinion, I would wait to maybe, like, Tuesday or Thursday and then sell them overnight, put up like eight hours, put them up for a higher price than usual. Try to get back a decent return on them. Because in my opinion, it's not worth it. It's not, especially for you, you guys who didn't spend tons of coins on them. Like for you guys like me, who didn't spend tons of coins, you could just sell it, right? 
But for people who spent like their base price, like Shannon Sharp when he was 350, Willie Brown who was 340, Kevin Away when he was 300, those guys are gonna be taking a bit of a hit. So it comes down to, would you rather have coins for the promo? Or would you rather have your team? Because remember, you're getting back a lot less. So for me, like I said, if you spent before, you have to weigh down what you care about more coin stack or your team. And then for people who just bought recently, like I did during the crash, feel free to sell back. You take a little bit of loss, but you get your weekend league coins back. And you go into the promo fresh. Now, this promo, like I said, is going to bring about most likely 32 players, one from every team, including some sidekicks. That's usually how the promos run. So you have to anticipate that most positions will get a brand new top tier card, which means that overalls will drop. And if you guys can see, if I go over to the block to show you guys how people anticipated that, a lot of people have been devaluing the best players at certain positions. So someone like Brian Dawkins, who was going for like 800k a week ago, now is going for 400k. So people are already anticipating the fact that he won't be the best free safety, or at least he won't be the clear-cut best free safety. Now another guy to show you guys would be Shannon Sharp. He just came out, everyone was excited, he was like 400k. Then he was 300k, now he's 250, because people are anticipating probably a new George Kittle, a new Travis Kelsey, a new something, right? Travis Kelsey just came out with signature series, so more than likely it'll be a George Kittle. At least I'm hoping so. And then also, to keep going down, you see a guy like Kevin Moway, right? Best center in the game. He's suddenly going down tremendously. Then you go down to a guy like Gail Sayers. He was selling for literally 500k. People anticipated that he was the, the like everyone was like, he's the best running back. And he was, for the short moment, besides Barry, uh, Bo Jackson, Gail Sayers was. But now people know we're probably going to get a Saquon Barkley or an Ezekiel Elliott. David Johnson, a Joe Mix. We're gonna get something, right? That should compete considering Mud Heroes will be about 91 overalls, max being 90. I don't think Mud Heroes will hit 93 overalls. I think we'll max out at 91, 92. And then for the October promo, we'll hit more into that higher echelon range. Again, overalls are up this year, a little bit in years past. Because you guys remember last year, the Halloween promo, the Halloween cards were about like 90 overalls, except for the Masters, they were like 93s. And then the Thanksgiving promo, the base cards were 93s, but we're already kind of hitting that with these promos. So like the legends and the kickoff so like i don't really know how it's going to work this year but I, I would imagine that they're not going to pass 93 overall mud heroes there's no way i think 92 max in my opinion but 93 is a possibility but again like i said even lawrence taylor is coming down although he hasn't come down tremendously because there's not even if a right outside linebacker comes out he won't be better than him me personally i'm excited like i said i'm waiting for i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna take this mud heroes as the end all by my team promo i'm gonna go in there take what it says like a supermarket you go in you buy what you need and you leave that's why i'm gonna take this promo so for me personally if they drop i want a saquon barkley for most of you guys right the way the game's looking right now in my opinion the positions that we need right now we need a few new linemen to spice up the market because right now we pretty much have all the top linemen and that's it so like there's no price there's no price competition there's nothing i think we need a few more linemen we definitely need another tight end. Like, it's literally like Shannon Sharp or Bust, unless you want the Kellen Winslow Redux. I obviously like Kittle, but he's not top tier for most teams. So, like, I think we need another few tight ends to shake up the market. We need a few new linemen. Quarterback market's fine. We have a few of those right now. We need a new running back. I Like, I, like all we have is Mark Sound and Gale Sayers. Those aren't flashy names. Bo Jackson, really old school guys. Like, we need some, in real life, modern day running backs. Like, I want a Zeke. I want a Saquon. I want a Joe Mixon, a David Johnson, an Alvin Kamara. I want to see a Barry Sanders or the Danny Tomlinson. Like, there's a lot of things I want to see in this game. Wide receivers are okay right now. Can't really knock that. But I think halfback and tight end is a big position. I need some linemen. We definitely need some more free safety. It's like, this is ridiculous. We got, a, we, got a, we got a wide receiver playing free safety with Calvin. We got a Brian Dawkins that was going for damn near a million coins. That's about it. Strong safety market's okay because we got Pat Tillman already. Middle linebackers, we have too many. And then as far as the defense, I think we're fine there. We could maybe use another cornerback or two, such as like a Jalen and some more modern day guys besides just slaying Gilmore. But again, everything else in this game has been fine. I just think we really need more running backs and more tight ends. I'm tired of going online and just seeing Marcus Allen, Bo Jackson, Gale Sayers. Marcus Allen, Bo Jackson, Gale Sayers. Same three. And at least we have those three. Before, it was just Marcus Allen, Marcus Allen, Marcus Allen. Then it was Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson. Now we're mixing them up a little bit. But in my opinion... I'm gonna go and get my running backs. Don't spend all your money on Mud Heroes. If you spend all your money on Mud Heroes, you will be burned. Because people who spend all their money on Mud Heroes has a really good team for literally two weeks. Think about it. It's gonna come out probably this Friday. I think that was the announcement. So it means we're not it's not gonna come out to like October 2nd, October 3rd, -ish, right? So stay with me right there. October 3rd. Realistically, the October promo, the Halloween promo, usually starts towards the 16th of October, right? Like two weeks before Halloween, just about. Maybe the 18th, right? We'll kick it up a little bit. But it's already announced beforehand. So the second that thing is announced, it's going to start killing Mud Hero prices a little bit. Now, am I saying that it's not worth it? But there's people who are going to go in the first day of Mud Heroes, and they're going to go in there, and they're going to buy 
a ton of them. They're going to get Saquon. Let's say there's not a Roger. I'm just giving you guys names. Rogers, a Saquon, a Hopkins. The team's going to look amazing. And then in two weeks, he's, his Halloween promo starts. There's way better cards. I did. I made this mistake last year. There's an Aaron Donald. There's all these guys. And you're like, oh, my God, I, I want all these cards. Now, they're super expensive. It's like, okay, cool. I'll just sell my Mud Heroes off. I'll get back to three to 400K I spend on every card. But now they're only going for like 280, 300. They're not going for close to 400 anymore. So you lose like a little over 100K per card. That's 400K extra. That could have been the Aaron Donald you want. You know what I'm saying? Like it eventually just starts to really kill you in terms of getting value back. So in my opinion, if you want, like if Saquon comes out, I want him. I don't care what he costs. I'm going to buy him. I'll be happy with that. But I'm just going to go pick up, oh, excuse me, like an Eric Berry free safety like last year because he has good stats and like I just need, I need a free safety right now. I can wait. I have patience in that sense. And I don't imagine there'll be too many collectibles in this sense like all these different types usually it's their sidekicks as the collectibles like last year there was like the sidekick cards 84s were the collectibles and then occasionally they had daily collectibles that you could use to get some more sidekicks but i don't imagine this being like a big token promo could it be because we we're, this year's kind of big on tokens possibly a new currency i doubt it's too short of a promo but as a whole there will be cool objectives hopefully sidekicks hopefully some cool mud heroes and some cool solo challenges and i'm only hoping that it brings about some new house rules that involves a free mud hero or at least give us like five free sidekicks right so we can almost create a full mud hero and then give us some solos that we can coincide with more sidekicks to almost make one and maybe even some daily solos with tokens like last year mud heroes is the first real step in terms of getting a promo in the right direction and our first real promo so hopefully this is enjoyable it should be coming this friday guys stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching turn on that noti bell to get notified every time i post brand new videos just like this comment down below what you think will also be in this promo make sure to hit the subscribe button guys let's get to 9k and make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I'm out. Peace.